Hey guys, so I hope you've enjoyed reading my first blog post about the application of biomimicry in solving our biggest problem, climate change. As you would have seen from my blog if you've read it, there are several different approaches that we can take. We can improve the efficiency of our renewable energy sources, such as improving the lift and aerodynamic properties of our wind turbine blades through inspiration from whale fins, or we can improve our solar panel energy yields through inspiration from the cabbage moth's wings, the solar collectors. But the thing I want to focus on in this video is the consumption of CO2 to produce materials, in particular biodegradable plastics. First, here are some terrible figures that I came across. Did you know that there's an estimated 5 trillion pieces of plastic floating around in our oceans currently? And of this, a huge amount of plastic bags. This has been greatly contributed to by our habit of consuming 500 billion single-use plastic bags every year. Now not only are these plastic bags and other plastic items leaching chemicals into our water and our atmosphere, they're also responsible for killing an estimated 100,000 sea animals every year. Now imagine if we could take CO2 and create biodegradable plastics. We'd be killing two birds with one stone. We'd be taking CO2 out of our atmosphere, which we so badly need to do, and we'd be allowing our plastic products to biodegrade back into the environment if they found their way back into the oceans with much less adverse effects. Currently, plastic manufacture produces a lot of CO2 amongst other chemicals and is based on petroleum. So by consuming CO2, it's really a win-win. But researchers are coming closer and closer to achieving the creation of biodegradable plastics from CO2 every year. So just as nature creates long sugar polymer chains out of CO2 for energy, researchers are becoming increasingly capable of taking CO2 and creating these biodegradable plastic polymer chains. Now the huge German chemical manufacturing company Bayer is currently in the process of building a production line that's going to take CO2 and just make plastics amongst other materials. And if we could implement this on a large scale, if we could get our plastic bags and plastic bottles produced in this way, it could be a huge step forward in the fight against climate change. The future holds some really interesting times ahead, and I think that if we start using CO2 as a material and not looking at it as a poison, then it will rapidly win the fight if we can do it on a large scale. I'd like to hear your opinions, and if you've got any other ideas, please let me know about them in the comment section. Cheers.